Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Amber is fossilized tree resin. Examples of it have been appreciated for its color and natural beauty since the Neolithic times and worked as a gemstone since antiquity. Amber is used in jewelry and as a healing agent in folk medicine. There are five classes of amber defined on the basis of their chemical constituents. Because it originates as a soft, sticky tree resin, amber, sometimes contains animal and plant material as inclusions. Amber occurring in coal seams is also called resinite, and the term ambrite is applied to that found specifically within New Zealand coal seams. Etymology, the English word amber derives from Arabic ambar anbro, ultimately from Middle Persian amber, via Middle Latin amber and Middle French amber. The word referred to what is now known as ambergris, ambergris or gray amber, a solid waxy substance derived from the sperm whale. The word, in its sense of ambergris, was adopted in Middle English in the 14th century. In the Romance languages, the sense of the word was extended to Baltic amber, fossil resin, from as early as the late 13th century, at first called white or yellow amber, amber john. This meaning was adopted in English by the early 15th century. As the use of ambergris waned, this became the main sense of the word. The two substances, yellow amber and gray amber, conceivably became associated or confused because they both were found washed up on beaches. Ambergris is less dense than water and floats, whereas amber is too dense to float, though less dense than stone. The classical names for amber Latin electrum and ancient Greek lambda epsilon capital omicron nu, electron, are connected to a term lambda capital megaro, elector, meaning beaming sun. According to myth, when Phaeton, son of Helios, the sun, was killed, his mourning sisters became poplar trees, and their tears became electron, amber. The word electron gave rise to the words electric, electricity, and their relatives because of amber's ability to bear a charge of static electricity. Pliny the Elder says that the German name of Amber was Gleesum, for which reason the Romans, when Germanicus commanded the fleet in those parts, gave to one of these islands the name of Glessaria, which by the barbarians was known as Osteravia. This is confirmed by the recorded Old High German word glass and by the Old English word glare for Amber, compare glass. In Middle Low German, Amber was known as burn dash, barn dash, bornston, with etymological roots related to burn and to stone. The Low German term became dominant also in High German by the 18th century, thus modern German. Bernstein besides Dutch Barnstein. In the Baltic languages, the Lithuanian term for amber is jantaras and the Latvian zinters. These words and the Slavic jantar and Hungarian gianta, resin, are thought to originate from Phoenician janitor, see resin. Varietal names, a number of regional and varietal names have been applied to ambers over the centuries, including allangite, becquerite, getonite, coconite, crantzite, and stanchonite. History Theophrastus discussed amber in the 4th century BCE, as did Pythias c. 330 BC, whose work on the ocean is lost but was referenced by Pliny, according to whose natural history. Pythias says that the gut ones, a people of Germany, inhabit the shores of an estuary of the ocean called Mentanamon, their territory extending a distance of 6,000 stadia, that at one day sail from this territory, is the Isle of Abelis, upon the shores of which amber is thrown up by the waves in spring, it being an excretion of the sea in a concrete form, as also that the inhabitants use this amber by way of fuel and sell it to their neighbors, the Teutons. Earlier Pliny says that Pythias refers to a large island three days sail from the Scythian coast and called Balsia by Xenophon of Lampsicus, author of a fanciful travel book in Greek, as Basilia, a name generally equated with Abolus. Given the presence of amber, the island could have been Heligoland, Zealand, the shores of Gdansk Bay, the Sambia Peninsula, or the Chironian Lagoon, which were historically the richest sources of amber in northern Europe. It is assumed that there were well-established trade routes for amber connecting the Baltic with the Mediterranean known as the Amber Road. Pliny states explicitly that the Germans exported amber to Pannonia, from where the Veneti distributed it onwards. The ancient Italic peoples of southern Italy used to work amber. The National Archaeological Museum of Ciritide, Museo Archaeologico Nazionale della Ciritide, at Policoro in the province of Matera, 
basilica displays important surviving examples. It has been suggested that amber used in antiquity, as at Mycenae and in the prehistory of the Mediterranean, came from deposits in Sicily. Pliny also cites the opinion of Nicias c. 470 to 413 BC, according to whom amber is a liquid produced by the rays of the sun, and that these rays at the moment of the sun's setting, striking with the greatest force upon the surface of the soil, leave upon it an unctuous sweat, which is carried off by the tides of the ocean and thrown up upon the shores of Germany. Besides the fanciful explanations according to which amber is produced by the sun, Pliny cites opinions that are well aware of its origin in tree resin, citing the native Latin name of succinum, succinum, from succus juice. In Book 37, Section 11 of Natural History, Pliny wrote, Amber is produced from a marrow discharged by trees belonging to the pine genus, like gum from the cherry, and resin from the ordinary pine. It is a liquid at first, which issues forth in considerable quantities and is gradually hardened. Our forefathers, too, were of opinion that it is the juice of a tree, and for this reason gave it the name of succinum. And one great proof that it is the produce of a tree of the pine genus is the fact that it emits a pine-like smell when rubbed and that it burns when ignited with the odor and appearance of torch pine wood. He also states that amber is also found in Egypt and India, and he even refers to the electrostatic properties of amber by saying that in Syria the women make the whorls of their spindles of this substance and give it the name of harpax from Ropis 8 omega to drag from the circumstance that it attracts leaves towards its chaff and the light. Fringe of Tissues The Romans traded for amber from the shores of the southern Baltic at least as far back as the time of Nero. Amber has a long history of use in China, with the first written record from 200 BCE. Early in the 19th century, the first reports of amber found in North America came from discoveries in New Jersey along Crosswicks Creek near Trenton, at Camden, and near Woodbury. Composition and formation amber is heterogeneous in composition, but consists of several resinous bodies more or less soluble in alcohol, ether, and chloroform, associated with an insoluble bituminous substance. Amber is a macromolecule formed by free radical polymerization of several precursors in the labdane family. For example, communic acid, communal, and biformine. These labdanes are diterpenes, C20H32, and trines, equipping the organic skeleton with three alkene groups for polymerization. As amber matures over the years, more polymerization takes place, as well as isomerization reactions, crosslinking, and cyclization. Most amber has a hardness between 2.0 and 2.5 on the Mohs scale, a refractive index of 1.5 to 1.6, a specific gravity between 1.06 and 1.10 and a melting point of 250 to 300 degrees Celsius. Heated above 200 degrees Celsius, 392 degrees Fahrenheit, amber decomposes, yielding an oil of amber, and leaves a black residue which is known as amber colophony, or amber pitch. When dissolved in oil of turpentine or in linseed oil, this forms amber varnish or amber lac. Molecular polymerization, resulting from high pressures and temperatures produced by overlying sediment, transforms the resin first into copal. Sustained heat and pressure drives off terpenes and results in the formation of amber. For this to happen, the resin must be resistant to decay. Many trees produce resin, but in the majority of cases this deposit is broken down by physical and biological processes. Exposure to sunlight, rain, microorganisms, and extreme temperatures tends to disintegrate the resin. For the resin to survive long enough to become amber, it must be resistant to such forces or be produced under conditions that exclude them. Fossil resins from Europe fall into two categories, the Baltic ambers and another that resembles the Agathis group. Fossil resins from the Americas and Africa are closely related to the modern genus Hymenia, while Baltic ambers are thought to be fossil resins from plants of the family Cytopidiaceae that once lived in North Europe. The abnormal development of resin in living trees, succinosis, can result in the formation of amber. Impurities are quite often present, especially when the resin has dropped onto the ground, so the material may be useless except for varnish making. Such impure amber is called furnace. Such inclusion of other substances can cause the amber to have an unexpected color. 
Parides may give a bluish color. Bony amber owes its cloudy opacity to numerous tiny bubbles inside the resin. However, so-called black amber is really a kind of jet and darkly clouded. And even opaque amber, inclusions can be imaged using high energy, high contrast, high resolution x-rays. Extraction and processing distribution and mining amber is globally distributed, mainly in rocks of Cretaceous age or younger. Historically, the coast west of Königsberg in Prussia was the world's leading source of amber. The first mentions of amber deposits their date back to the 12th century. Jawadkrant in Lithuania was established in the mid-19th century as a mining town of amber. About 90% of the world's extractable amber is still located in that area, which was transferred to the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic of the USSR in 1946, becoming the Kaliningrad Oblast. Pieces of amber torn from the seafloor are cast up by the waves and collected by hand, dredging, or diving. Elsewhere, amber is mined, both in open works and underground galleries. Then nodules of blue earth have to be removed and an opaque crust must be cleaned off, which can be done in revolving barrels containing sand and water. Erosion removes this crust from sea-worn amber. Dominican amber is mined through bell pitting which is dangerous because of the risk of tunnel collapse. An important source of amber is Kachin State in northern Myanmar, which has been a major source of amber in China for at least 1,800 years. Contemporary mining of this deposit has attracted attention for unsafe working conditions and its role in funding internal conflict in the country. Amber from the Rivna Oblast of Ukraine, referred to as Rivna Amber, is mined illegally by organized crime groups, who deforest the surrounding areas and pump water into the sediments to extract the amber, causing severe environmental deterioration. Treatment to Vienna Amber Factories, which use pale amber to manufacture pipes and other smoking tools, turn it on a lathe and polish it with whitening and water or with rotten stone and oil. The final luster is given by polishing with flannel. When gradually heated in an oil bath, amber becomes soft and flexible. Two pieces of amber may be united by smearing the surfaces with linseed oil, heating them, and then pressing them together while hot. Cloudy amber may be clarified in an oil bath, as the oil fills the numerous pores that cause the turbidity. Small fragments, formerly thrown away or used only for varnish, are now used on a large scale in the formation of ambroid or pressed amber. The pieces are carefully heated with exclusion of air and then compressed into a uniform mass by intense hydraulic pressure, the softened amber being forced through holes in a metal plate. The product is extensively used for the production of cheap jewelry and articles for smoking. This pressed amber yields brilliant interference colors and polarized light. Amber has often been imitated by other resins like copal and cowrie gum, as well as by celluloid and even glass. Baltic amber is sometimes colored artificially, but also called true amber. Appearance amber occurs in a range of different colors, as well as the usual yellow-orange-brown that is associated with the color amber. Amber can range from a whitish color through a pale lemon yellow to brown and almost black. Other uncommon colors include red amber, sometimes known as cherry amber, green amber, and even blue amber, which is rare and highly sought after. Yellow amber is a hard fossil resin from evergreen trees, and despite the name it can be translucent, yellow, orange, or brown colored. Known to the Iranians by the Pahlavi compound word karuba, from ka straw plus ruby attract snatch, referring to its electrical properties, which entered Arabic as karaba or karaba, which later became the Arabic word for electricity. Kvu karaba. It too was called amber in Europe, Old French, and Middle English amber. Found along the southern shore of the Baltic Sea, yellow amber reached the Middle East and Western Europe via trade. Its coastal acquisition may have been one reason yellow amber came to be designated by the same term as ambergris. Moreover, like ambergris, the resin could be burned as an incense. The resin's most popular use was, however, for ornamentation, easily cut and polished, it could be transformed into beautiful jewelry. Much of the most highly prized amber is transparent, in contrast to the very common cloudy amber and opaque amber. Opaque amber contains numerous minute bubbles, 
This kind of amber is known as bony amber. Although all Dominican amber is fluorescent, the rarest Dominican amber is blue amber. It turns blue in natural sunlight and any other partially or wholly ultraviolet light source. In long-wave UV light, it has a very strong reflection, almost white. Only about 100 kilograms, 220 pounds, is found per year, which makes it valuable and expensive. Sometimes amber retains the form of drops and stalactites, just as it exuded from the ducts and receptacles of the injured trees. It is thought that in addition to exuding onto the surface of the tree, amber resin also originally flowed into hollow cavities or cracks within trees, thereby leading to the development of large lumps of amber of a regular form. Classification amber can be classified into several forms. Most fundamentally, there are two types of plant resin with the potential for fossilization. Terpenoids, produced by conifers and angiosperms, consist of ring structures formed of isoprene, C5H8 units. Phenolic resins are today only produced by angiosperms and tend to serve functional uses. The extinct metallosins produced a third type of resin, which is often found as amber within their veins. The composition of resins is highly variable. Each species produces a unique blend of chemicals, which can be identified by the use of pyrolysis, gas chromatography, mass spectrometry. The overall chemical and structural composition is used to divide ambers into five classes. There is also a separate classification of amber gemstones according to the way of production. Class 1. This class is by far the most abundant. It comprises labdatrine carboxylic acids such as communic or ozic acids. It is further split into three subclasses. Classes IA and IB utilize regular labdenoid diterpenes, e.g. communic acid, communal, biformines, while IC uses enantiolabdenoids, ozic acid, ozol, enantiobiformines. Class I includes succinite, equals normal Baltic amber, and glessite. They have a communic acid base, and they also include much succinic acid. Baltic amber yields on dry distillation succinic acid, the proportion varying from about 3% to 8%, and being greatest in the pale, opaque, or bony varieties. The aromatic and irritating fumes emitted by burning amber are mainly from this acid. Baltic amber is distinguished by its yield of succinic acid, hence the name succinite. Succinite has a hardness between 2 and 3, which is greater than many other fossil resins. Its specific gravity varies from 1.05 to 1.10. It can be distinguished from other ambers via infrared spectroscopy through a specific carbonyl absorption peak. Infrared spectroscopy can detect the relative age of an amber sample. Succinic acid may not be an original component of amber, but rather a degradation product of abietic acid. Class IB ambers are based on communic acid. However, they lack succinic acid. Class IC is mainly based on enantiolabdotrionic acids, such as ozic and zanzibaric acids. Its most familiar representative is Dominican amber, which is mostly transparent and often contains a higher number of fossil inclusions. This has enabled the detailed reconstruction of the ecosystem of a long-vanished tropical forest. Resin from the extinct species Hymenia prodera is the source of Dominican amber and probably of most amber found in the tropics. It is not succinite but retinite. Class II of these ambers are formed from resins with a sesquiterpenoid base, such as catenine. Class III of these ambers are polystyrenes. Class IV Class IV is something of a catch-all. Its ambers are not polymerized, but mainly consist of cedrine-based sesquiterpenoids. Class V Class V resins are considered to be produced by a pine or pine relative. They comprise a mixture of diterpenoid resins and inalkyl compounds. Their main variety is Highgate copolite. Geological record the oldest amber recovered dates to the late Carboniferous period, 320 million years ago. Its chemical composition makes it difficult to match the amber to its producers. It is most similar to the resins produced by flowering plants. However, the first flowering plants appeared in the early Cretaceous, about 200 million years after the oldest amber known to date, and they were not common until the late Cretaceous. Amber becomes abundant long after the Carboniferous, in the early Cretaceous, when it is found in association with insects. 
The oldest amber with arthropod inclusions comes from the late Triassic, late Carnian C. 230 Ma of Italy, where four microscopic 0.2 to 0.1 millimeters mites, Triasacarus, Ampidzoa, Miniacarus, and Chirolepidoptis, and a poorly preserved Nematoceran fly were found in millimeter sized droplets of amber. The oldest amber with significant numbers of arthropod inclusions comes from Lebanon. This amber, referred to as Lebanese amber, is roughly 125 to 135 million years old, is considered of high scientific value, providing evidence of some of the oldest sampled ecosystems. In Lebanon, more than 450 outcrops of lower Cretaceous amber were discovered by Danny Azar, a Lebanese paleontologist and entomologist. Among these outcrops, 20 have yielded biological inclusions comprising the oldest representatives of several recent families of terrestrial arthropods. Even older Jurassic, amber has been found recently in Lebanon as well. Many remarkable insects and spiders were recently discovered in the amber of Jordan, including the oldest Zoraptorans, Clarid beetles, Eumenicolade roaches, and Achilleid plant hoppers. Burmese amber from the Hukong Valley in northern Myanmar is the only commercially exploited Cretaceous amber. Uranium, lead dating of zircon crystals associated with the deposit, have given an estimated depositional age of approximately 99 million years ago. Over 1,300 species have been described from the amber, with over 300 in 2019 alone. Baltic amber is found as irregular nodules in marine glauconitic sand, known as blue earth, occurring in upper Eocene strata of Sambia in Prussia. It appears to have been partly derived from older Eocene deposits, and it occurs also as a derivative phase in later formations, such as glacial drift. Relics of an abundant flora occur as inclusions trapped within the amber while the resin was yet fresh, suggesting relations with the flora of Eastern Asia and the southern part of North America. Heinrich Goppert named the common amber-yielding pine of the Baltic forests Pinite succinider, but as the wood does not seem to differ from that of the existing genus, it has been also called Pinus succinifera. It is improbable that the production of amber was limited to a single species, and indeed a large number of conifers belonging to different genera are represented in the amber flora. Paleontological significance amber is a unique preservational mode, preserving otherwise unfossilizable parts of organisms. As such, it is helpful in the reconstruction of ecosystems as well as organisms. The chemical composition of the resin, however, is of limited utility in reconstructing the phylogenetic affinity of the resin producer. Amber sometimes contains animals or plant matter that became caught in the resin as it was secreted. Insects, spiders, and even their webs, annelids, frogs, crustaceans, bacteria, and amoebae, marine microfossils, wood flowers and fruit, hair, feathers, and other small organisms have been recovered in Cretaceous ambers deposited c. 130 million years ago. There is even an ammonite pusosia, bimelites, and marine gastropods found in Burmese amber. The preservation of prehistoric organisms in amber forms a key plot point in Michael Crichton's 1990 novel Jurassic Park and the 1993 movie adaptation by Steven Spielberg. In the story, scientists are able to extract the preserved blood of dinosaurs from prehistoric mosquitoes trapped in amber, from which they genetically clone living dinosaurs. Scientifically, this is as yet impossible since no amber with fossilized mosquitoes has ever yielded preserved blood. Amber is, however, conducive to preserving DNA, since it dehydrates and thus stabilizes organisms trapped inside. One projection in 1999 estimated that DNA trapped in amber could last up to 100 million years, far beyond most estimates of around 1 million years in the most ideal conditions. Although a later 2013 study was unable to extract DNA from insects trapped in much more recent Holocene copal. In 1938, 12-year-old David Attenborough, brother of Richard who played John Hammond in Jurassic Park, was given a piece of amber containing prehistoric creatures from his adoptive sister. It would be the focus of his 2004 BBC documentary, The Amber Time Machine. Use amber has been used since prehistory, Solutrian in the manufacture of jewelry and ornaments, and also in folk medicine. Jewelry amber has been used as jewelry since the Stone Age, from 13,000 years ago. 
Amber ornaments have been found in Mycenaean tombs and elsewhere across Europe. To this day, it is used in the manufacture of smoking and glass-blowing mouthpieces. Amber's place in culture and tradition lends it a tourism value. Palanga Amber Museum is dedicated to the fossilized resin. Historical medicinal uses amber has long been used in folk medicine for its purported healing properties. Amber and extracts were used from the time of Hippocrates in ancient Greece for a wide variety of treatments through the Middle Ages and up until the early 20th century. Traditional Chinese medicine uses amber to tranquilize the mind. Amber necklaces are a traditional European remedy for colic or teething pain with purported analgesic properties of succinic acid, although there is no evidence that this is an effective remedy or delivery method. The American Academy of Pediatrics and the FDA have warned strongly against their use, as they present both a choking and a strangulation hazard. Scent of amber and amber perfumery in ancient China. It was customary to burn amber during large festivities. If amber is heated under the right conditions, oil of amber is produced, and in past times this was combined carefully with nitric acid to create artificial musk, a resin with a peculiar musky odor. Although when burned, amber does give off a characteristic pine wood fragrance, modern products such as perfume do not normally use actual amber because fossilized amber produces very little scent. In perfumery, scents referred to as amber are often created and patented to emulate the opulent golden warmth of the fossil. The scent of amber was originally derived from emulating the scent of ambergris and or the plant resin labanum. But since sperm whales are endangered, the scent of amber is now largely derived from labanum. The term amber is loosely used to describe a scent that is warm, musky, rich, and honey-like, and also somewhat earthy. Benzoin is usually part of the recipe. Vanilla and cloves are sometimes used to enhance the aroma. Amber perfumes may be created using combinations of labanum, benzoin resin, copal, a type of tree resin used in incense manufacture, vanilla, damara resin, and or synthetic materials. In Arab Muslim tradition, popular scents include amber, jasmine, musk, and oud, agarwood. Imitation. Substances young resins used as imitations. Cowrie resin from Agathis Australis trees in New Zealand. The copal subfossil resins. The African and American Columbia copals from leguminosae trees family, genus Hymenia. Amber of the Dominican or Mexican type, class one of fossil resins. Copals from Manilia, Indonesia, and from New Zealand from trees of the genus Agathis, family Araucariaceae. Other fossil resins. Burmite in Burma, Romanite in Romania and cymetide in Sicily. Other natural resins, cellulose or chitin, etc. Plastics used as imitations, stained glass, inorganic material, and other ceramic materials, celluloid cellulose nitrate, first obtained in 1833, a product of treatment of cellulose with nitration mixture. Acetyl cellulose, not in the use at present, galolith or artificial horn, condensation product of casein and formaldehyde, other trade names, aladinite, aranoid, lactoid. Casein, a conjugated protein forming from the casein precursor, casinogen. Resolane, phenolic resins or phenoplasts, not in the use at present. Bakelite resin, resol, phenolic resins. Product from Africa are known under the misleading name African amber. Carbamide resins, melamine. Formaldehyde and urea formaldehyde resins. Epoxy novelac. Phenolic resins. Unofficial name antique amber. Not in the use at present polyesters. Polish amber imitation with styrene. For example, unsaturated polyester resins, polymels, are produced by Chemical Industrial Works Organica in Sarzina. Poland. Estimal are produced by Laminopol firm. Polyburn or sticked amber is artificial resins the curled chips are obtained, whereas in the case of amber, small scraps. African amber, polyester, synacryl is then probably other name of the same resin, are produced by Reichhold firm, Styrosol trademark or Alkyd resin, used in Russia, Reichhold Incorporated Patent, 1948. Polyethylene epoxy resins polystyrene and polystyrene-like polymers, vinyl polymers. The resins of acrylic type, vinyl polymers, especially polymethyl methacrylate PMMA, 
Trademark Plexiglass, Metaplex.